session was actually alright to be honest. Yeah, two hours. Um, we're just coming up to now. Mix of, well, just a sweet spot session. So, decent amount of sweet spot. Um, and yeah, feels really good. It's cooled down a little bit now. Um, it's a little bit more rainy, uh, which makes training a little bit easier, especially for someone like me, who's not great in the heat. So we are less than a week, we're six days away from my first marathon, which is a weird thought really. I've never done a marathon. The only thing I have done um, that's anything close to a marathon, well actually, I say close, it was over a marathon, was the 60K worth of hill reps I did last year for Movember. I'll link to that video above. Man, that was a savage day. So I did 60 kilometers, 30 kilometers was uphill, 30 kilometers was downhill. Um, and I just remember how painful that was. And I'm doing, I mean, not quite 60 kilometers, but it's close to 60 kilometers. It's a marathon um, on Exmoor. It's gonna be hilly. And uh, I'm actually uh, weirdly really looking forward to it. I don't know why. <laughs> Ready for my run now, um, but because I am prepping for the marathon and the trail marathon, I want to get used to running in this backpack. I think it's, what's it called? The Active Skin 8 from Salomon. I've only really used this a couple of times because I, I used it for the 60 kilometer run that I did last year for November, like I mentioned earlier on. There's loads of um, mandatory kit that you've got to take on these events, like uh, compasses, um, foil blankets, extra kit, food, obviously water, first aid kit, all of that stuff. I haven't actually got everything with me yet. I'm going to be shopping on Amazon later and getting, making sure I've got everything. Um, I've just kind of stuffed it full of things that I don't necessarily need and things that I won't take, but just to kind of feel what it's like to, to run with it packed up. So it has got, you know, waterproof in there. I've got some extra layers. Obviously I'm not going to need them on my easy hour run, but just to get a feeling for what it's like and get used to that sensation the week leading up to the race. I think it's gonna be really important. Um, and on this one, around the front, you do have these two, I'm pretty sure they're 500 mil. Yeah, 500 mil like soft flask bottles. I'm gonna fill both of these up. I don't expect to drink all of it, but again, getting used to having the fluid there, the weight of it. And I will be taking some nutrition with me as well and putting them in various bits of, you know, pockets around here and I will be taking my GoPro obviously to film but also I want to vlog the race day as well so knowing where my GoPro is going to be the best setup to have nutrition fluids and GoPro I don't know which pocket is best for it to be in but yeah um, that's what this kind of run and this week leading up to the race is all about training is not changing that much it's just trying to get used to running with this pack um, and get used to the shoes and hopefully get to race day in the best shape possible. The only issue is I do want to carry the GoPro with me on race day, but I don't know if I have enough space for it. Like all these pockets are really quite tight, so it doesn't really fit in. So either I don't take it and I just film on my phone or or I just hold it for the whole race, but holding it for a whole marathon is like, oh. People do probably do that. What do you think? I think it's stupid. That's rude. <laughs> I think these shoes look cool. I think I need sunglasses to just look at them. No. Yeah. I like them. Yeah. I like them. So if I wore shoes like that, you'd say they're butters. <laughs> no. Yes. But I can pull them off. That's the thing. <laughs> I can pull them off. I'm a fashion guru. I'm 
thing with this pack on because it does add quite a lot of weight <laughs> i'll probably do in a separate video my nutrition and hydration plan um they will have checkpoints and uh feeding stations i don't exactly know what they've got there but i would presume water and a mix of you know hydration and nutrition snacks and stuff um so i'll kind of break that all down and make sure that i've got enough to get by i don't know what the weather's going to be like it's a bit early to predict um if it's anything like it is now a bit cloudy and a bit muggy um so yeah i want to make sure i've got enough being quite a heavy sweater so this can carry a liter of water i've got the two 500 mil flasks so that'll probably do me for like an hour and a half two hours no idea how long this is going to take but i will not be doing it in two hours that's for sure <laughs> um and then nutrition wise i'll try and hit standard between 60 and 90 grams of carbs an hour so yeah, i'll go through all that in a separate video and just make sure that i've got enough to get me through the run Yo, no, you don't like the taste of my hand. <laughs> I just thought I'd go through a bit more information on the event, and I'm pretty sure there are still entries. So if anyone's interested, I'll leave a link to the race in the description below. And this is what it looks like. Um, and as we go down, we go to the marathon section, you'll see it's uh, just shy of 42 kilometers and 2,136 meters of elevation, which is 7,008 feet. Sounds like quite a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> I know a few people have mentioned, you know, why don't you get the pro license and race somewhere else later on this year? And I would love to do that, but um, I'd have to go abroad. It's loads of hassle, it'll cost loads of money, and it's kind of like, <laughs> A bit pointless and I'm really not like not that keen on doing that this year to be honest with everything that's going on um, and I don't think it's necessary really so those are, that's kind of my reasons and people would agree and disagree but you know yeah that's the reasoning behind it and it gives me a little bit more time to kind of get ready for next year being the first pro season and it's not like I'm not racing the rest of this year I'm just doing some different things um, which I think, if anything, will be beneficial, make me more of a rounded athlete. So I think it's all good. I do have to say though, watching the guys rip it up and the girls rip it up at Outlaw Full yesterday has kind of made me, oh, makes me just want to do it. <laughs> it makes me want to do a full. Um, massive hats off to Andrew Horsfall Turner, absolutely smashed it, broke the course record. Ian Dempsey for coming second also broke the course record. Um, so mega effort and Kit Walker as well rounding off the podium. Guys absolutely ripped it up. Um, so yeah, congratulations to all of you. And uh, it's made me definitely want to do it next year. So I better get my entry in pretty soon. <laughs> as far as this video is concerned, that is it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I will see you in the next video.